hi guys welcome back to my channel so today is the laziest tutorial i've ever made so i'm not going to show how to make these daisies and i'm not going to show how to make this daisy granny square so i'll leave links below on how to make them and they are also my tutorials because i already did them earlier in other videos you can find how to make this daisy granny square in the triple granny square top i did and there's a tutorial i hope to on how to make these daisy granny squares so i have four of these i actually had them as leftovers so i have four of these leftovers and i actually had this as a leftover so i'm just going to join them into a bag i forgot to mention i'll be using a 3 millimeter crochet hook and a 2 millimeter crochet hook and i'll be using leftover yarn basically so i'll be using this yarn it's also pink and i'll be using this so i actually i'm just going along with whatever i'm doing i don't have any idea or anything whatsoever so i'm going to pick the longest leftover yarn which is this I'm going to be joining the four tiny granny squares. So I'm going to grab my yarn, grab any two granny squares. We're so going to be joining in the middle first. So grab any two granny squares. Make sure they are aligned. Insert your hook into the very corner. And the same for the other side. And you pull your yarn through, chain up one, turn your work, and start making single crochet. So you carefully insert your yarn into the spaces, your hook, sorry, into the spaces whilst making a single crochet. Now to weave this in, so I have to carefully do that. So it should be on top so that I can weave that in. So you carefully join your right sides. Make sure the right sides are facing at the beginning because the way we are joining is what we are using. So go ahead and make single crochets all the way down. So you have to go and watch the videos and come back to this video to continue. The links are right below. So this is it. I'm going to continue with my other two single and um, two granny squares, sorry. So don't forget you have to go into the chain one spaces over here. And after you insert your hook the middle space and into the middle space here and I'm going to slip stitch to so that they join well and after I'm going to just single crochet my way So this is what I have. I'm going to be chaining up one because at the end I only single crochet into one of the chain spaces. Chain up one and I cut off one. Two, two. So I'm going to be joining like this also. So Go ahead and insert your hook into the middle chain space. Same thing for the side.
So I'm done and I'll cut off my yarn over here. Go to. So this is my work for the front of the back and for the back of the back. So I'm going to join in the quest square form. So I'm going to go from one end to the other end. So I want to figure out which, which part to be my top and which part to be my down. So it doesn't matter. So let's start from this end and end at this end. So this yes, will have to join it carefully. Remember, for this work, you're actually working on our right side, so. So when you get to the side, you just insert your hook and insert your hook into the single crochet and just here's what I have. I'm going to single crochet all the way down. Now with my single crochet, I just chained off one, so I'll be cutting off my yarn, and I'm done with the front. So I'll be using this color for the strap. So this is a crochet bag made with different um, pink yarns. So I had this button. I'll be attaching to the front of the bag and. I'm going to make a little um, thing at the back that I can use to close my button. I don't know what that's called. So I'm going to divide the top, the, sorry, <laughs> the bag into two with my eyes. One, two, three. So this is the middle space. I'm going to be making it from here to here. So start with a slip knot. Chain up two, make a double crochet into the next space, make a double crochet into the next space, make a double crochet again, and then we have four. So the last one is a fifth space, which is a chain one space. Chain up two, turn your work. This two counts as a double crochet, so into the next space, you're going to end up with a double crochet. And our chain two at the beginning also counts as a double crochet, so you have to go in there with a double crochet. So you always have to have five double crochets in your total chain up two again and then repeat that till you get as long as you want. So let me try this this is fine the fur is fine so i think i won't cut off my yarn yet but i'm not too sure so i'm going to attach my button with this and then with the darning needle so i've attached my yarn to the thread and it's long but I don't want to cut it off so I can use it for something else with a lot of us. So I'm going to attach the button here and So you can just 
try to, to secure and And then you cut off the yarn and I'm just going to make I made three rows so let's see My three rows is fine, but I just add a last row just in case. Chain up one and cut off the yarn. Go to. So the bottom was supposed to be loose to be able to accommodate our close up. This is it. Very, very cute. So I'll be in my end. So I'm going to grab this yarn. I'm going to look for the two ends and double it and use my two millimeter crochet hook to make a very long drawstring. A very long strap I mean. so I've been able to double the yarn I'm going to use my two millimeter crochet hook and make a slip knot attach my bag at this end attach my strap sorry think I'll just Attach it inside a little bit and then just chain a long, long. I'm not going to be counting, I'm just pushing. And I forgot to measure the granny square, so I'll do that when I'm done. Yeah, I'll measure my straps too before I attach it. So I'm done with my strap and then I haven't measured it so I'm going to be measuring it. It's quite long, about 43 inches if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so for the triangle, the back about 7 inches. Eight, seven by seven, then by seven, and then for the little granny squares, about three inches, almost, what, almost three point five inches each. Yeah. <clears throat> so, grab your bag. Oh, the yarn is really getting in my way attach your hook in here anywhere you want I changed to the 3 millimeter crochet hook but I used the 2 millimeter crochet hook to make the straps so Make a single crochet, chain up one, and then you cut off the yarn. I'll weave that in. So go ahead and weave in your ends. So I'll be weaving my ends right now. So this is it. I'm done weaving in my ends. Thank you guys for watching to the end. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs>